All righty, guys. It is Thursday, the 16th of September. We tackle Spectral by Carlberg. I actually had a feeling this map would come up in Track the Day because I saw hints of it. I participated in Carlberg's mapping competition and kind of because of that, kind of knew that Carlberg was making a map as of recently. So I'm not surprised that it made it in to the uh, to track of the day. <clears throat> um, probably going to be transitional. Looks like dirt and normal. Uh, can I please get my analog control? Thank you. Oh, I have to go on this side. Oh yeah, transitional. Okay, not. Oh, okay. Go high up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, oh my god. <clears throat> oh my god, okay. Very clean transitions. Alright, we're just gonna... Oh, no brakes. That's not where I'm supposed to go. Oh, maybe it is where I'm supposed to go. I can't... I, I, I cannot make that. Okay, get this nice and smooth. Oh, I need to go a little bit higher on that. The lower I go, the less track I have because it's a triangle. And the lower down, the less... <clears throat> the less time I have, or the more, the larger the jump is. Oh god. Surprised it didn't hit a wall. Went a little higher to actually save myself. <clears throat> the green and white aesthetic. I like the white and the green. Because you don't have you don't always have to use black. Says the man who's only made tracks in black since it's come out. <clears throat> I understand what I'm doing and uh, <clears throat> fully admit that uh, I'm doing it, and I still don't care. <clears throat> Actually, my most recent track is in red, but also black. What, what can I say? I'm a sucker for the aesthetic. It looks too nice. Okay. I've lost the ability to do this start jump. Dude, I don't want to go slamming into that. I don't know what I was able to do before and then I'm no longer able to do. Oh! Yeah, that was bad. I really need to get as like far over to the left as possible. what I want to do for that.
Probably that. Get a small amount of grip from the non-dirt there. Why do like... What was I doing before that I now I'm not doing? That I'm now crashing into that outside wall? I don't understand. I touched <clears throat> and then I spent too long trying to recover a run that wasn't gonna go anywhere anyways and so I was like oh I'll keep the gear that didn't work what was I gonna do if I kept the gear continue a run that I had already crashed in Okay, that transition is something else. I really like... I'm gonna keep saying like... I really think that like... Oh, let me point out a thing that I'm doing and then try to not do it while simultaneously doing it. I really think that... What I was doing before was just going slow and now I'm hitting the problem where I'm going to, or I'm going the speed I should be, but I'm not taking it the right way. All problems that could be solved with the GPS, but I want to figure it out myself. And then I'll let the GPS tell me that I'm wrong. I want to, I want to think about completing it myself. Ah! Okay, I'll crash. It's fine. Can I make this? I couldn't. I... It's the second time I've gotten there, and both times I've not been able to make the jump. just so I could slow down. <laughs> ah, no. Very difficult track. It's transitional, and usually transitional is hard. Or I generally find transitional to be difficult. I think that's the general consensus. And it may be the consens the general consensus, but I find transitional full speed to be the hardest. As someone who doesn't play full speed. Maybe people who play full speed will find maybe people who play transitional full speed find this difficult. This is like dirt transitional with some tech in there. Don't crash. Don't care if the run's necessarily fast yet. What did I say? I said, just don't crash. That's all I wanted was to not crash. Do I make it? I almost didn't. Well, that's a finish and a half. Okay, that is a finish. Turns out, that's a finish block. I have to go low, and I barely made it. I'm gonna have more speed when I get to this part. But at least I'll figure out how to do the finish.
Oh. You really have to, like, like if this was Rally, it'd be, say, it'd be like, into jump, caution right. I don't know how rally callouts work, but I believe caution right is the uh, exact terminology that I'd be needing in that scenario. I most certainly have to do some sort of slowing down on those turn on that turn and maybe the turn after. Because I definitely like I'm coming in with way too much speed. I don't know if I have enough speed to make that. Yep, okay. That's one heck of a speed check. Okay, we're off to a great start. just held held left there and it worked it worked pretty well make it all right we made it and then we just make the finish I went a little overboard on the on the finish jump but going higher is uh, harder than going lower and it's harder, the risk of me smashing into the top of the finish is way, way lower than the risk of me missing the finish due to not going high enough. Ooh, I clipped. Got a bit of air, it's whatever. Me clipping there, that's not whatever. Way, yeah. Maybe I need to start turning beforehand on that dirt turn. Don't crash into the wall, that's all I want. And, well, definitely don't, um,. Definitely don't crash into... The, uh... I don't even know. At this point, I couldn't... I was trying to think of what it was that I was about to crash into, and then I lost it. Too busy thinking about the track. Just started turning earlier there. Worked out pretty well for me. I need to break more there. I'm just like not making it ever. I'm like, I need to just hold break basically. Oh boy. Yeah, I saw that coming. I was coming in at a very, very shallow angle. This ramp, this ramp transition is uh, very tricky. Game is not random, and I know that, but it feels random. Maybe I'm going off it the wrong way. Let's let's watch a GPS. 
So I don't judge anything here. No, I was right. I really like Karlberg's skin. It's simplistic, yet it's really, really nice looking. much exactly what I thought. Oh. I'm running into stuff. Maybe the only thing I gained out of that GPS, which I was suspecting from the start, is to just go earlier to the left on that transition. Let up a lot, and then I was pressing the buttons. Need to go further to the right and then left. Okay, it's good. I hit. Kind of suspected it, but I was like, ah, oh, it's gonna be so close. Clip the ramp. Go slower. Just just don't clip the ramp. Thank you. You're right. Just don't click just don't clip the ramp, you're right. See I don't I didn't I don't clip the ramp did. I did the thing that you wanted me to do. Are you happy? Are you satisfied? I hit dang it, dude. Okay. Okay. to be careful there. I kind of have to be careful. Oh. I was facing, I was rotating to the left, which is bad because that's into a wall. Little high there. I got a little bit of a bounce. What the hell? Oh my god, dude. I just got obliterated.
Oh my god, okay. We're going low. And then we're going high. Oh, I almost hit that wall. This is a mistake. And I didn't make the transition. We're good. We're great. We're off to a good start. Even though we're 20 minutes in, we're off to a great start. Yes, do the turn on the dirt completely while not looking at the screen. This is a good dirt section. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it coming. Oh, that was so smooth. It didn't sound smooth, but it was so smooth. Make it! Well, you know, I didn't make it. Because I had a very awkward landing. It would have been such a good run, too, if I had actually made the dang jump. There's a, there's a landing penalty. Let's just go. Went a little high there, it's whatever. Time I'm not point two. Oh my god. I need to get over to the right sooner. Darn. Okay. Okay. Please. Dude, I just need to, like, break more. Or I just need to... split up the drift. I'm not making it doing what I'm doing now. I'm, you know, getting around the corner and then I'm just too fast. On the exit. Okay, I clipped, I think, my rear left wheel. Oh, I just, I just didn't, I just kept going straight. Where are we at? 25 minutes? Let's slam into a pole. About five minutes, I can make up. I can make up so much too. It's like I'm I'm I've noticed it. I'm saying like more stop. I just need to Oh. I just need to execute cuz I 
had a good run. I just messed up the finish. Very fast. This is going to be very slow. And I... I have to start turning from the right sooner. The reason I crashed there was not because I didn't start turning too early, uh, too uh, late. I actually started turning pretty early. It's just the fact that I was not far enough to the right. So my, all my momentum went right into the wall instead of along with the... Like the... the I keep calling it the bobsleigh of the dirt, but that's like the best I could do. It's the best thing to describe it. Like the cr the, the little scoop of the, the dirt. One of those things. <laughs> I'm gonna keep crashing, that's a good idea. Let's just, let's just crash. We got five minutes, I can just crash repeatedly into a wall and that's all the content you need. You don't need me to complete the track. Come on. Please. Oh, this is a bad start. And it was ruined there. I'm okay with taking a bad start. Maybe I can find a... Maybe I can do a clutch end or something, but... Anything will cause me to reset at that point. Okay, too bad. Too high. I don't know how to do this start again. For like the third time in this video. Okay. Oh, I heard the sound of me hitting the wall, so I anticipated slowing down. Turns out, sometimes you can hit a wall and not get slowed down. It's a good that the opposite applies. You can hit a wall, but yet not actually slow down. Because there are a lot of situations where you don't hit the wall and do get slowed down. So I'm glad that there are situations where you can do the other thing. Because that actually is okay. Ah. This is not great. I have to slow down there. Oh, okay. I need to wait on that drift. I feel that that drift would be hard even without the transi the two transitions we go through. Do we really need the two transitions? Because my brain wants to start the drift somewhere on the sec somewhere before the second transition. Let up just because I was scared. Maybe I braked too much, but at least I made it. And that'll be it, actually. Actually, it went overtime, but at least I 
Thankfully, I didn't notice until now. I will see you all tomorrow. We will tag whatever track happens to be the track of the day for tomorrow, Friday, the 17th of September. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all later.